Um, when you love someone, truly love someone who's addicted, um, you, you, just like anyone, if, if, you're, if your husband or wife was sick, you would, you would accommodate some of that, right? If I, had a, if I had a badly broken leg, my family would accommodate me. They would bring me food. They would, you know, they would help me with things that were wrong. If I got cancer, they would help me. They would accommodate that illness because they're loving people. But the same principle applies when people get addicted. They begin to accommodate them, and that is the worst thing they can do. So th what, what helps with other types of illnesses actually perpetuate addiction. The, th there was a great, um, great movie we watched in training for this. There was a woman who had been making excuses for her husband for several years as his alcoholism got crazy. And, and, the, and he was, again, too drunk to come to work. And the phone rang, and this was before cell phones, and it was his boss. And she said, hello? And, and this is the whole point of the movie. She says, it's for you. She would not make excuse for him anymore. And that was the, the whole point of the movie and the whole point of what families, it's for you. You deal with this. I am not in the business of covering up anymore. And when families begin to not cover up anymore, they get better. Now, they need a lot of God and a lot of you and a lot of help because their nature is, I've got to accommodate. I've got to help. I've got to give in. I've got to make life. If life was just easier for them, if I could reduce their stress, then they wouldn't want to drink. Do you see, see the lie? you hear the lie? And so they think, it's me. Something's wrong. With me. I'll be a better person. I'll be a better spouse. I'll be a better husband. I'll be a better kid. If I even just be better, my, my loved one won't do this. And that's the lie of addiction. And so you, you all know people, and you can visualize people when I, when I give these examples, right? And you, you've heard all these things before. That's just symptomatic of the illness. When I get a really smart and sophisticated addict in my office, and I can't always tell what's going on, I meet the family, and in two minutes, I see addiction all over them. The diagnosis is really easy. I see how upset they are, how emotional they are, how anxious they are, how afraid they are. And, and, I, and when I rule out all the other causes for that, I go, you're living with an addict. That's what's going on. When you live with an addict, the, the, the overriding emotion is fear. Fear. She's going to die. He's going to get hurt. He's going to kill somebody. He's going to lose his job. She's not going to be there for the kids. I mean, you, you live in fear all the time. And they, they talk walking on eggshells. You know, you're just tippy-toying around not to make some reason that things are going to get stressful because when things get stressful, you know what happens. He's got a reason. She's got a reason. So that's the, how the disease, it, it, the, the, those who love the addict the most get hurt the worst, right? Because in particularly in a marriage and in healthy families, what happens to one happens to all, right? The idea of marriage and being one flesh. What happens to my wife happens to me. What happens to my kids happens to me. And so families just get devastated by this. They're, they're battered and bloodied up, and they need as much love and help and treatment as the addict does, sometimes more. The addict go off to treatment and come back in six weeks all happy, and the family's just devastated. So we've been living for this for 20 years. Where, where's the love for us? You know, the addict's getting all the applause. Oh, you finally got help. Good for you. And the family's going, what, I'm supposed to be happy? What about my pain? You know, what about me? And so we've learned over time that addicts and families need a lot of treatment and a lot of love together. Um, you, can't, you can't not treat the family. You have to. And as... Christians, 